Hey, it's Avery. Okay, for 3D Game Lab, there was the archaeology assignment on the uh, Kettle Hoyuk exploration. So, the first question was, what did you learn about archaeology in general? What I learned is that archaeology is pretty much the study of human life, the history that has come with that human life, and just studying things about about ancient civilizations, people, ancest our ancestors, just inform us about the things that happened in history that we might have not known about yet. Okay. Question two is what was most what was most interesting about exploring the cattle hoyuk? So we had to look at a couple of videos on YouTube and the the picture gallery the most of the people were buried underneath their their sleeping quarters which was really weird because i mean you're pretty much sleeping on top of a dead person and wouldn't it start to smell or it just seems unsanitary and the amount of walls they have is amazing. They'd have to carve them out of something or build them using blocks. And some buildings are the same and other ones are totally unique in the structure. And most of the houses don't have doors like our modern houses. They have ladders that go up to the roof and a ladder that goes down to the floor to exit the house. For number three, it was facts, like interesting facts about the cattle yuk we've learned. They used say satanic symbols and it was really hard from the video to understand why because translation sucks. So they used a sundial the sundial seemed to be able to have the symbols they used on paintings inside of them. You could use them there, and they'd work. They, To the guy, it made sense. I was just listening to what he said. And there was this vi figure that was, like, supposedly the mother goddess. The, like, go the goddess they referred to. And... The figure is the same as the Roman sculpture Cybele, Cy that was made 6,000 years later by the Romans. And they, it was, there are these figurines of women who are very plump with cats, but that are pet, that are petting, they're petting the cats, but in the area there seems to be no domesticated cats in the area, so it, it confused archaeologists. And obsidian it there were there was so much at the site that they were they would use them for tools since they're it's much sharper than than stone. It's sharper than a, a hospital scalpel by a lot because it's it's like silicon or something. And question four, would you want to be an archaeologist? My answer is yes, I would want to be an archaeologist. It sounds amazing. You get your hands dirty while learning something new every single day, looking at things, and it's just amazing. So that concludes my video reflection for the Kettle, Kettle Hoyuk exploration. Thank you.